Tonight we are hearing from a Grand Rapids couple whose eight-year-old son fell 24 feet from a climbing wall in Chicago. It happened last summer at Navy Pier. The boy survived, but his injuries are severe. 13 on your side's Carla Byron is here now with details about the legal action the family is now taking. And Carla, the video is difficult to watch. It sure is, Juliet. The family says the climbing wall wasn't being operated safely, and they hope another family doesn't have to go through this horrible situation. Go, Georgie, hit it! It's a Grand Rapids mother and father's nightmare come to life. Do you think your kid's dead? To watch your kid die in front of you is uh, is obviously pretty horrific. Yeah, wouldn't wish that on anybody else. Go George. This is eight year old George Brewer climbing a wall at Navy Pier, a major tourist attraction in Chicago. After reaching the top, George repels off and plummets 24 feet to the ground. Horrified screams follow. <laughs> George's mother, Erin Brewer, was recording on her cell phone when this happened in July. Hearing your child asking if he's going to die. I mean, he's an eight year old boy and the fact that it's like his innocence was taken from him. You know, this should have been a fun experience and it, it couldn't have been any worse. The Brewers filed a 10 count lawsuit Tuesday afternoon against Navy Pier for failure to follow safety protocols. They say the attendants put the harness on George but did not attach the safety rope. In addition, the complaint alleges George fell without anything to cushion his fall. It is no excuse to say we were distracted. It is no excuse to say this was happening near closing time. It is no excuse to try to blame an eight year old child or the parents for something that is fundamental. Go Georgie, hit it. George suffered severe injuries all over his body, including to his face. <laughs> He's undergone multiple surgeries with more possibly to come. It's something that myself, my husband, George, and George's two brothers are dealing with every day, mentally and physically for George. And um, we don't want this to happen to anybody ever again. The family also claims no one from Navy Pier offered any help or support after the incident, guys. Thank you, Carla.